AHERS stands for SIPA's Airborne Hazard Emergency Response Service. AHERS aims to protect the public during significant incidents involving chemical releases or fires by deploying a field response team to monitor air quality. The field response team will monitor the air quality around the incident and that will be sent back to the SIPA advisor and shared with Health Protection Scotland and other stakeholders to be able to make a decision on potential health impacts. The field response team can measure the majority of substances using continuous monitors which give the levels of many substances instantly. This information is continually emailed back to SEPA's Airborne Hazard Advisor and shared with Health Protection Scotland and others. Other samples are collected using instruments such as the ECHO, which need to be sent back to the lab for analysis. This is an ECHO a high volume sampler, and this will be used during an AHER response to sample for PCBs, dioxins, and PAHs. So, what we actually do is we have a puff tube here, uh, which would be pre-treated for either PCBs and dioxins or PAHs. Uh, they're two, two separate puff tubes depending on what you're doing. You would then open up a puff tube, take the two ends off it, and set it in the module. Uh, there's a head also, which has a filter on top, so that nothing's going into the puff tube that we, we don't want in there. We seal the puff tube off, and essentially what the echo does is it draws air through the puff tube for a certain amount of time. Once it's been sampled for the adequate time, you then take your puff tube back out. That can then be sealed. And this will be sent to the lab where it can be analysed for PHs. People that's been out on the air will bring this into the lab and we will use the accelerated solvent extraction system the puff tube that shows up and popped into an ACE cell and ready to go onto the instrument. And it's an automatic procedure. It takes around 30 minutes to extract the sample. We concentrate the sample down from approximately 15 mils down to 1 mil using the turn back, and this process will take about 20 minutes, half an hour. And that's the sample ready for analysis. Just put the sample into the instrument, and that will take around 20 minutes to half an hour to produce a chromatogram so we can start processing and can add results. From here we can look at the different peaks, check to see what components we have found within our sample. We can then quantify our results to make an informed decision in instance and aspects relating to public health.